Hello students, today we are going to take Ohm's law, a revision of Ohm's law. This is the electric circuit diagram for studying Ohm's law. This is a battery connected with 4 cell. These are the connecting wire. This is the resistance wire. This is voltmeter which is connected in parallel which measures potential difference. This is ammeter which measures current. This is a key. This is the electric circuit diagram for studying Ohm's law. Now, when we connect this connecting wire to this side, then only one cell is connected and if let's say if it is having the potential difference of 1.5 volt, then we'll measure the potential difference and current. Let's say potential difference will be 1.5 volt and the current will be, let's say the current is 0.5 ampere. This is in volt and this is in ampere. Now, when we connect from this side, then two cells are connected. The potential difference will be 3 volt, 3.0 volt and the current you will see in the ammeter will be 1 ampere. When we connect from this side, three cells are connected, making the potential difference 4.5 volt and the current will be 1.5 ampere. And when we connect from here, all the four cells together, this will be 6 volt and the current will be 2 ampere. Now as you can see here, when the potential difference is increasing, the current also increases. If we take the ratio of it, in according to the Ohm's law, I, that, that is the current, is directly proportional to the potential difference across it or we can write V is proportional to I. V is equals to when we remove proportional sign I R where R is the constant of proportionality known as resistance. So R is equals to V upon I. Now here we are taking the ratio V upon I. So it is 1.5 upon 0 0.5. We'll solve this. You'll get answer 3. 3 upon 1. Then here also we'll get 3. 4.5 upon 1.5. That is 3 and 6 upon 2 that is also 3. So as you can see here all the ratio of V upon I is constant and that constant V upon I is known as resistance. So here resistance is 3 ohm, 3 ohm, 3 ohm and you can see this is a constant here and this constant is known as resistance. 